the online single beam echo gram view. Teledyne PDS offers for single beam surveys the echo gram view. The echo gram view is the digital paper roll of the echo sounder. Let's take a look to the PDS echo gram view. The echo gram is the digital paper roll of the echo sounders. It gives the surveyor tools to adjust its optimal sonar settings such as the power and the gain. It can be used for many purposes, such as to determine the correct bottom is detected, bottom feature inspection and bottom layer recognition. The PDS single beam echogram view has the following features. The echogram view has a view pane to visualize the echogram. It has a left pane for channel selection and visualization parameters. In the left pane, are optionally pages added to control online parameters of the echo sounder. This feature is driver dependent. First have a look to the panes. If we look to the online echogram view, we see a view pane visualizing the received echogram from the echo sounder. And we see the left pane from where we can select the channel to show another visualization parameters. Select in the properties page the device data of the channel to show the echogram in the view pane. Only, the echogram of the selected channel is displayed. However, the digitized depth of more channels can also be displayed in the view. Set the visualization parameters and the range mode of the view. When you select the center on digitized depth checkbox, then the echogram will shift such the digitized depth is centered in the view. Press the hide button to hide or unhide the left pane. The view pane is equipped with a toolbar to control the visualization of the echogram in the view. Press the zoom buttons to zoom. It is also possible to zoom by scrolling the mouse wheel. Press the decrease and increase brightness buttons to visualize the echogram more or less bright. Press the contrast buttons to have more or less contrast for the echogram. Changing the brightness and contrast is also seen back in the values of the scan. You can also turn on the auto scaling. PDS will use an algorithm to set automatically the brightness and contrast value. The sensitivity of the algorithm is set in the control pane. The value can set the normal, high or low for the brightness and contrast. If auto scaling is turned on then it is not possible to set the brightness and contrast manually. By using these settings the user can optimize the echogram for his particular purpose. Press the digitized depth button to turn on or off the visualization of the digitized depth. The color of the digitized depth can be changed in the control pane. Each channel can have its own color. If the digitized depth is shown then also the gates are shown if the echo sounder outputs these values. Gates is the echo sounder tracking window of the seabed. Press this button to connect the depth points with lines. On this way disturbance is better recognized. Press this button to turn on or off the display of events. Press this button to turn on or of the A scan. The A scan indicates the expansional intensity of the echogram. Remember the values also depends of the set brightness and contrast. Press this button to turn on or off the display of the amplitudes of the digitized depth. Press this button to show the time and the depth at the mouse position. Press this button to invert the colors of the echogram. Press this button to open additional properties for the echogram view. Properties such as colors and the location of information can be changed here. Press this button to pause the display of the echogram. The data is still logged but the view not updated anymore. The pause symbol is showed in the top left. In pause mode you can scroll through the data. Hold the left mouse button and move the mouse to find your feature of interests.
Press the pause button to update again the echogram view. The echogram moves to the current ping. If you move your mouse to a position in the view and you double click, then the ASCII and digitized depth will freeze for this beam position to make it possible to analyze this beam. OS is displayed in the top left of the view and the beam position is indicated by a line. Press the S to show the last ping again. You can choose between three range modes. Follow range, fixed value, and the automatic range mode. In the automatic range mode is the range of the echogram automatic adjusted such the digitized depth is always shown. In this mode are the previous selected ranges also shown. When you select the center on digitized depth checkbox, the digitized depth is always centered in the echogram view. The echogram shifts to show the digitized depth in the center of the view. Press the Select Fixed Range button. And the range mode will change to fix, with the last set range value of the automatic mode. In this case 20 meter. The fixed range value can be changed. For example to 25 meter. In Follow Range mode. The echogram range will follow the range as set in the echo sounder. Select the color palette to visualize your features or bottom the best. It is possible to select different color palettes. Press the invert button to invert the colors. Change the automatic contrast and brightness sensitivity to optimize the visualization if necessary. Or change the contrast and brightness manually. Select quickly a different channel. The color of the digitized depths can be changed. Navigation Annotation and Heave To some echo sounders it is possible to add navigation and attitude data. Press this button to show this data numerically. The navigation data is shown. The data shown is the data received from the echo sounder in the DSO data stream. Press the button again to turn the display of the navigation off. A Heave line can be shown in the echogram if Heave data is applied to the echo sounder. Press this button to open the view in layer control and change the properties of the heave line. The color and the location of the graph can be changed. Set a location to show the heave graph. Press this button to turn on or off the heave correction for the digitized depth. If turned on PDS will correct the digitized depth with heave. The button is only enabled if the correct image for heave button is not set to automatic mode. The heave graph will be a flat line if the depth is not corrected for heave. One important note. Do not correct the depth for heave if the depth output is already heave corrected from the echo sounder. Most echo sounders output heave corrected depth. Press this button to turn on or off the correction for heave of the echogram image. The correction for heave can also set to automatic mode. In automatic mode PDS will use the flag in the message to determine if the image in digitized depth is heave compensated. If turn to no image corrected for heave, then the top line is flat. If turn to yes, the top line will show the heave curve and the image is compensated for heave. Be aware not to turn on the heave compensation if the output of the echo sounder is already compensated for heave. Most echo sounders only compensate the depth for heave and not the image.
If we zoom in we can see the heave compensation more clear. When we turn the heave compensation off, the heave line is a flat line and the depth is not compensated for heave. The heave is seen back in the bottom detection. If we turn on the heave correction, the, the heave curve shows the applied heave correction. The digitized depth is corrected for the heave. The same we see for the image. The heave correction is off. This means we see the heave artifact in the image. And when the image heave correction is on, we see the heave in the top line, and the image is heave compensated. Once again, do not turn on the heave correction if the echo sounder output heave corrected data. The single beam control page. A driver can include the possibility to control the echo sounder. In the case, our three additional tab pages shown in the left pane. In this example the DSO echogram driver was added, which includes the control of the echo sounder. The control, channel, and advanced pages are now shown in the control page. Are the transmit power and gain of the echo sounder controlled? In the channels page are the channel related settings of the echo sounder controlled? such as the frequency, pulse width and TVG curve. In the advanced page are advanced settings of the echo sounder controlled, such as the echo sounder range, sub bottom settings, bar check settings, scale settings and gate settings. Use the echogram view to show your water column and bottom features affecting your survey. The Teledyne PDS single beam echogram view a powerful tool for single beam surveys.